Hi, this is Erica with Crafts Direct, and I would like to share with you this adorable new project that we've come up with. It's a very neutral, home sweet home palette, uh, perfect for any house, perfect way to refresh your house right now this time of year. Um, add a little greener to your house. We're all craving a little color, a little spring feel. Um, and if you really want to go for a spring vibe, you can easily switch out this eucalyptus bush and put in any different bush you want. So it's perfect to switch out for all the different seasons. Um, so here I have got a beautiful spring flower in case you're looking for something a little bit more springy or you can continue with the neutrals. We have lots of different choices. Um, so you can plop pretty much anything in the bucket to fit your decor in your house. To begin this project, we're going to lay everything out on the board so we know where we want to place everything. Our first major goal is to get that hook screwed into the board, so we're going to use two screws and a Phillips screwdriver to get it adhered to the board. The next thing we're going to do is take our home sweet home vinyl, and I wanted mine to fit a little bit closer together, so I'm cutting it apart so I can rearrange it on the board. I just wanted to make sure that once I hung my bucket with flowers in it, that the vinyl would still be showing. To apply the vinyl, we are going to peel that back layer off, flip the vinyl over, and stick it to the board. And you can see here I brought back that first piece of garland just to make sure that I was leaving enough room on the top for it. Once the vinyl is on the board, we are going to slowly peel up that masking tape layer so that the only thing left on the board is the vinyl. I always make sure to run my fingers over everything I put on the board just to make sure it's down and secure. We'll repeat this process with the top garland and then again with the bottom garland. Once the vinyl is on the board, we are going to use a couple of black upholstery tacks to do a little bit of embellishing. So here you'll see me place the tack in the center of the top garland and I'll do the same on the bottom garland. And then I'll take a little bit of black paint and just cover up those screws. Our next goal is to get this cute little bucket white. So we are going to use a multi-surface paint and apply the paint with a foam brush. We're starting at the bottom, and then we'll work our way to the sides. And you'll want to do at least three coats of the paint. Then we also took the paint and painted about an inch down on the inside of the bucket. Once the paint is totally dry, we are going to take our black jute and wrap it around the top of the pail. We will be adhering the jute with a hot glue gun, putting our jute in the hot glue, and then wrapping it around. And you'll continue to do this, applying hot glue and wrapping the jute around until you go around the bucket four times. Our final step is to assemble the entire project. So we get to hang the pail we just created on the black hook on the board, and then you'll take your flower bush, bend the bottom to make it fit a little better, and insert it into the bucket. For a complete list of the materials that we used in this project, you can go to craftstruck.com and go to our projects page. We'll also have everything linked, so if you wanna go ahead and get all the supplies to make this cute little project, um, it will all be linked on that projects page.